Hello and welcome to this exercise on probability. It is um, an exam question from an IGCSE higher tier examination question. Now, the question itself does not ask for a sample space diagram. Another does it ask for a tree diagram. But I have uh, included sample space diagram at the end and also uh, some sort of part of a tree diagram. So I'm not just answering the question itself, I'm trying to explain or to produce some background behind the answers themselves. Now it might seem to you as if I'm using a, a sledgehammer to crack a nut, but I, I think it does help to go a bit further than just answer the examination question itself. Now, okay, now we're asked to find uh, the number of dominoes, the, the number of dominoes with eight spots or with nine spots. So the all then means that we're going to add up pr probabilities. So for eight spots, we've got one, two, and three. That's three over eight. And for nine spots, we got one and two. That's two over eight. Therefore, for eight over nine, we're going to have three over eight plus two over eight, and that gives us five over eight. And that should be the answer. Next slide. Okay, now for section B1, uh, we are supposed to pick two dominoes and we want the two dominoes, we want the sum of the two dominoes to be, no, we want the sum of the spots of the two dominoes to be 18. And the only way we can do that is to add the 9 and the 9 there. Right, now this is without replacement. So, We've got a very simple or ketold um, tree diagram. So the probability of picking the first nine is two over eight. And the having picked out the first nine, we now have only seven dominoes left. So the probability of picking the next nine is going to be one over seven. So the probability of picking the first nine and the next nine will be two over eight times one over seven and we have 2 over 56. You can't actually simplify this if you wish, that 1 over 28, but that's fine as it is, that's okay. Section B2, we asked to pick two dominoes that add up to 17, and again, without replacement. Uh, the only way we can pick up two dominoes that add up to 17 would be to pick up uh, a 9 and an 8. Okay? So we have a very simple tree diagram, or Cattell tree diagram. We've got one for nine, and the probability of picking a nine first time round is two over eight. And the probability of picking an eight first time round is three over eight. Now, there's also another a, a little branch here, which we do not need. We are now confined to dominoes with spots of 9 and spots of 8. Now, if we pick the first domino with 9 spots, it that means that we only have one domino left with 9 spots, and the probability of picking that domino is 1 over 7. Now, following on from that, we can then say that we still got um, our three eights left there, so the probability of picking um, an eight, having picked up my first time round, is going to be three over seven. Similarly, if we picked eight the first time round, now it means that we now have only seven dominoes left, and we still got two nines left. So the probability of picking a nine second pick would be two over seven. Similarly, having picked up eight the first time, the number of dominoes with eight spots will now reduce to two. And the probability of picking eight the second time round is two over seven. Therefore, to get 17, we can either pick up two, a nine, two over eight, and an eight, three over seven, or an eight, three over eight, and a nine, two over seven there. So our answer is then 2 over 8 times 3 over 7, there, 
plus 3 over 8 times 2 over 7 and we get 12 over 56. Again, this can be reduced. Now, I hope what that means. Now, for the next slide, which is um, more, uh, I've used a simple, sample space diagram to answer all of these questions. And I hope you have the patience to work, watch the next slide. Okay, now this is a, a sample space diagram here. Okay, now do not dismiss this out of hand as irrelevant. Uh, if you've got an 11 year old or 12 year old or even a 10 year old, 13 year old perhaps, that might be a good exercise on how to do some tabulation. And it may also help in uh, the child's ability to add accurately. So this is not that irrelevant. Okay, right. Now for the first question, we want to find the probability of picking dominoes with eight spots or nine spots. Now for that, we have to look at this sample space here, what I call the marginal pr probability here. We want to find the dominoes with spots that add up to eight or nine spots. So these are dominoes. So that as eight there, as one, it's two, three, four, five. So for this sample, for this marginal probability here, the probability of finding dominoes with spots that add up to eight or nine will be five over eight. And that's the same as we had in the, or using the conventional method earlier. Uh, section B, section B1, we want to find dominoes the probability of finding dominoes who with spots that add up to 18. One two dominoes with spots that add up to 18. Again, we're looking at this this time we're looking at this whole sample space here, and the total outcome here is 56. So the number of 18s is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, is 2 over 56 and that's what we had earlier using the conventional method now for B2 we want to find the probability of uh, picking two dominoes whose spots add up to 17 now again not forgetting that the outcomes in here is 56 we want to count our 17s 1 2 3 four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. So we've got twelve uh, in this uh, total outcome of the six. So the probability of picking two dominoes whose spots add up to seventeen is. 12 over 56 as we had earlier now i hope all that makes made some sense uh thank you for watching and please subscribe thank you and bye bye